got a question for you here. Did anybody in the Bible pray for wealth? Did anybody in the Bible actually pray for wealth? Or let me ask you this. Did the Holy Spirit show us to pray for wealth? Did any of the disciples pray for wealth? Did the apostles pray for wealth? Not even Solomon prayed for wealth. He prayed for an understanding heart, wisdom. Now this is a message for these prosperity preachers out here with their unbalanced message. But let me clear it, let me clear this up. Is there anything wrong with with us having nice things? No. We don't serve a broke God. But the problem is when the nice things start having us. Abraham wasn't no broke man. Lot wasn't either. Job wasn't either. But this whole thing about this gospel prosperity mess that they keep preaching. How many times in the Bible did you see, did you see somebody praying for wealth when they was being persecuted? Serious things was happening in their life. And all they can come up with nowadays is sow a seed. The Bible says you can't serve two masters. You're going to love one and hate the other. Or you can't serve the Holy Spirit and mammon. Even when you look at the qualifications of an elder, deacons, the qualifications like what me and Dana Way was talking about earlier. But there is nothing wrong with being wealthy. But don't let the being wealthy have you. See, Christ, when he walking around talking about wealth, like a lot of these prosperity preachers are doing. Salvation, repent, Confess. You don't hear these prosperity preachers talking about that. Born again. Baptized in the Holy Spirit. Eternal life. All they're talking about is sow a seed. Sow a seed. Brother, sow a seed. Oh, you got to check out the blessing plan. But if you look at the ones who have already done this, they done took up money years and years and years and years lying about scripture, using philosophy and seducing spirits, doctrines of demons. Now they got mansions, been had it. They got real estate property. They got Rolls Royce. They got private jets, 60 some million dollar jets. Now you look at that and ask yourself, do it line up with scripture? Ken Copeland been talking about it for years. He ain't the only one. Creflo Dollar been talking about it for how long? See, some of them try to come back now. And is it, is it really an apology what a lot of them are doing now? After they done got all this success. Well, they already got their reward. And I'm saying this in this video as I wrap this video up for you who have not woke up yet. Wake up. Stop being brainwashed by those seducing, seducing spirits, those doctrines of devils, that philosophy, that feel-good message. Because there's not been enough people that got burnt behind the prosperity preachers. So I'm asking you once again, who in the Bible actually prayed for wealth? And I'll leave on that note. Shalom.